Ahead of Friday's governorship primaries of the People's Democratic Party in Edo State, a frontline aspirant of the party, Mr. Gideon Ikine, has stepped down from the race for Governor Godwin Obaseki. Ikine announced his decision to step down for the governor on Monday at a ceremony in Benin City. Report has it that Governor Obaseki, the state party chairman, Dr. Tony Azigbemi and other party leaders from across the state were in attendance. Announcing the decision, the aspirant said that there was no progress without sacrifice, adding that the governor's defection to the party was God's great answer to the party and his aspiration. He noted that two persons could have the same vision, but the means of approaching them is different. Ikine stressed that he was not actually stepping down, but stepping behind the man who would lead the party to glory come September 19. Joining us now is Demian Lawani, the Commissioner for Youth Sports and Special Duties in Edo State. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Destiny. Uh, good enough for you. One of your aspirants has stepped down for uh, the governor in PDP. What is your expectation to go to the primaries as a consensus <coughs> candidate or slog it out with other aspirants? Well, thank you very much. Let me first and foremost congratulate Gideon Ikene for the giant step taken today. And I'm sure that is also a wake-up call to others who are still thinking of what to do. You know, PDP is very structured, well-organized political parties in the Africa. And I'm very sure that with all this talk and negotiations and talks going on, many more will step down or step aside. Like my governor said, none of them is stepping aside, but stepping behind him to continue the good work uh, they are doing. Do, do you expect some people to hold out, uh, considering well, that, <laughs> I mean, Obaseki is just coming into the party. They may see him as a newcomer. Well, the, the day we joined the party, the chairman of the party stated that all privileges that are accrued to all the old people are also same privileges given to the new people. In PDP, there is no new person, there is no old person. Once you are in the party, you become or you are entitled to anything that anybody is entitled to. Following the laws, you will be given any waiver to contest or to participate in any election. Therefore, most of the aspirants stepping aside now or stepping behind Mr. Governor are doing it because they have the same vision, they have the same thinking with Mr. Governor. And they believe if they put their efforts behind him, the governor will succeed. What Putting do you, into account what, 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 what do the you nature say? Uh, sorry to interrupt, but what, what do you say to comments that um, this has nothing to do with the people, but, you know, the governor moving to the PDP is more of a political strategy, a more of a political interest, and has nothing to do with delivering service uh, to the people? Well, well, this is what we are saying, that the governor's ambition is about the people. And we have always said that Edo people should look out for performance and those who are not flimpered with public funds and those whose records go ahead to tell who they are in wherever they have served before now. So therefore, they know the governor, they have seen him, he has performed, he has delivered, and the governor has become a movement in Edo state. And everybody across the party lines, even before the governor joined the PDP, he had the support of everybody. That is why we were surprised when a governor who is an asset to a party is being denied a ticket, it shows that that party is heading to a doom. And I'm so, also shocked that a party that we thought that was not organized was studying the governor from afar. They were able to see the performance. 
they were able to see the records. And as we speak, PDP is happy that the governor has joined them and the governor is an asset to the party. And he's ready to provide leadership, he's ready to work with everybody, and PDP is ready to accept him as one of their own. Um, uh, do you hold any um, uh, concern that there might be people who would want to slug it out at the primaries and would not give up at this point with uh, Basaki's um, entrance into the PDP? Well, talks are ongoing. Five minutes, one minute is enough to cause any changes, to, to effect any changes in politics. So while all these are ongoing in, some of them just feel what the governor wants to do is what they want to do as well. Therefore, since the governor has continued, they should help him to completely uh, end his program. Then from there, they will take it up. Let me chip in this one. Should the governor emerge as the candidate of the PDP, um, there is every likelihood that his main opponent is going to be uh, is a um, Iyamu of the APC, who has emerged the candidate of the APC now. How confident are you that it will be um, a clear um, competition and that your candidate is likely to win? As a, as, as a lawyer, I wouldn't want to say Eze Yamo has emerged as a party candidate of APC. I would have congratulated him. But the, I'm sure he's a member or he has emerged as the uh, EPM candidate, Edo People's Movement. Because oh, but that, that's by, a strange, by, because there, by, there is, by, there is by um, record, a committee. By our here. record, hello, excuse me, by our record, the court has given the powers of the powers of the national chairman to a particular person who has also written to INEC denouncing his authority to conduct the primaries of but, today. But, but should that be concerning you now? Because it, they, you've moved away from the party and the APC, no, no. from yeah, what we hear... No, you are saying, you are saying is a Yamu is the party... But that is, is the what APC the news is party. today. The Uzodema led uh, committee <clears throat> has declared him the candidate of the APC for the governorship election. Whether you agree with that or not, at this point, does it really matter? Uh, my well, question speaking, is, if I'm you're... I'm speaking legally. Legally, there is somebody who is in charge of the party at the moment, who the court has recognized. Until otherwise removed, the man remains. So as a lawyer, I wouldn't want to say that uh, the party who has conducted an illegal primary uh, should be celebrating, or I should uh, recognize the person as the candidate of a registered political party. No, the court has recognized a particular party, and the person has decided that that election has not been held. All so right, until I'm, that I'm... election is held, we will know that they have a candidate. I, I really would love to take you on, on other issues, but we're out of time. So I must say thank you very much uh, for your time on the news. It's nice talking to you. Say